Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to some more open XCOM Superhuman Iron Man. Now, when we last left off, we were just about to enter the UFO craft. Oh my goodness. And I think I'm actually going to end the turn first. I mean, you never know what's around the corner. Whew. That is pretty scary. Anyway, yes, last time we were taking on this floater mission. And I believe the base at the top, at least, is... Oops. I didn't mean to do that. That is not good. Um, yeah, I believe there's probably a floater base, which is actually pretty interesting. And I think what I might do is I might go and assault it, just because it will give us this amazing technology that we could really, really use. So that is probably going to be my plan today. As long as it is floaters. Because then we're good. But yeah, I thought we've got to finish this mission off first. It's been about a couple days. Oh no, 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 no. Don't die, please. Oh my god. Gus Fring. Oh. How, where did this dude come from? You know what? Anyone in the craft? Who is this? Sirius Sam Jr. You've got to come out and you've got to do your thing, okay? Oh, man, oh man. I just assumed that area would be clear. Oh, what a kill. Oh, yeah. Nice. Okay. Uh, that is a little bit worrying. I'll tell you what, Link, you're going to actually come over this way. And we're going to check this area out just in case. The thing is, it is really hard to get over there. If it wasn't, you know, if the aliens were like chrysalids, I think this would probably be the best map to like face them on. But yeah, apart from that, you know, I'm... I guess I'm kind of lucky because the aliens didn't attack us there when we could have very easily been attacked. The problem is there is absolutely no cover for us. And yeah, whilst that is sort of good because it means there's no cover for the aliens, we are also in a little bit of trouble. Oh my goodness me! Okay. Right. I don't know what to say about that one. Whew. There he is. Okay, Goliath, do your thing. Nice. Ooh, damn, that was an unfortunate loss. There's not really much we could do about that. Ah, oh, damn. I didn't even see who that was. Was that Crash Bandicoot? I think so. Damn. Man, that is unfortunate. Uh oh. Okay. I'm surprised that we haven't seen any Reapers yet, because they are... They are known to be pretty terrifying. And that is sort of the... Um, you know, I would have expected that, because it's a large UFO. Man, this is too intense. Oh, Advent Reject, Saul Good. All these guys are doing amazing. Man, oh man. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't bring my top troops on this one, though, because it's, uh, you know, I mean, we're losing troops left and right. Oh, and I do need to remember that um, Gus Fring is, you know, a little bit damaged. But it does appear as though the outside is clear. Damn it. I was supposed to move Link up this way, but it's alright. Okay, I think Uxan should also follow us in the craft. Because he did an amazing job last time. But the job is not done yet. Oh my goodness. Right. Okay! Damn! I don't know what I'm supposed to do against that. But we did catch a glimpse of someone. Maybe it's out here. Okay, that's good. At least we're, you know, safe outside. But we have to get you a med kit. Jake. Okay. Jake's got his med kit. We're going to save him. Whew. This could be a little while, Gus. Hopefully we can do it in time. Sheesh. Yeah, that is the problem with this game is that you have to sort of stand on the... You have to, like, stand on the elevator. And these aliens just come through. <laughs> And there's really not much you can do unless you stand about here. That's my guess. I, I have no idea. 
Yeah, I always found this craft really difficult to deal with. <clears throat> the best one, or the best way to, um, the best path, I should say, is definitely this one, because this brings us to the leader. But yeah, we don't need to do that yet. Here we go. Okay. I feel a bit bad because I started this mission so well, and now the you know. Uh, I've I paused the game, left it for about five days. You know, I'm I'm nowhere near as good. I'm not in the zone, which is um, it's all right. Don't worry, I'll find it back. Yes, hopefully before that base mission, because that would not be good. Okay, Jake. Yep, you gotta come this way. Uh, yeah, cool, all good. Man, that these doors are making me nervous. Whew. Who wants to go up, Goliath? This is the weirdest design craft I've ever seen. Like, you have to go through the floors to... and you can't even get there. Man, oh man. Okay. I'm gonna have some troops there. And a troop here. Okay, right. I don't know how we saw something here as well. Oh, I guess because they just fly down. I did not consider that. But, someone is here. Something is a little weird with their programming, how that they always stand and just wait on the elevator. I think that's a bit risky, but yeah. Also, I don't know if we've seen something up here. It's making me a little bit nervous, especially with floaters, because they can just, you know, fall down. Or they can float. Oh my goodness. Right. Uxan the Third, you're coming in. Man, oh man. Right, let's go for Gus Fring, who is slowly, he's got about eight turns left, so, you know, we can do this, but we just gotta run. And we'll probably get there in about four turns, but that's okay. Levi, do I need to do anything with you? Oh yeah, to be fair, I'd rather bring you up here just in case. Nice. Oh, the leader's got berserk, okay. That is, uh, like, usually the leaders are in this uh, area here. We could capture one, but I'm... Um, realistically, what what's that going to accomplish? We've already got a statement leader. So... I'm not too interested in grabbing a leader, but it would be... Alright, this is where it gets a bit dangerous. It, it might be alright, but then again, the only leaders I'm really interested in are sectoids and ethereals, because they have the mind control. And we don't even need ethereal leaders, we can pick up any ethereal. And they are tough, those things. You really don't want to face them unless you have to. And something... I don't know what they're... Why, why are they thinking this is a good idea? Four of their soldiers have previously died. I do not know. I really don't know. But um, yeah, okay, Gus Fring, don't worry. We're getting you there. Not enough energy, are you serious, dude? Okay, Jake is on his way. And next turn, we shall be healed. Navigator's panicked. Nice. Medic is panicked. Nice. But the leader has regained his... Uh... Oh, <laughs> this I feel like this is cheating. But it's really not. Joel is just farming kills. I love it. Holy moly. Right, Gus Fring, finally. Let's heal you up. That might be something with the coding in this game. I have no idea about how the aliens are always programmed to wait on the lift. I, I'm i not too sure. I'm not a computery coding. Ooh. You know what? Okay. Yeah, we don't need to mess around with that. Okay, that is a little bit worrying. Um, Ooh! You know what? We can stun this dude. For some reason. Oh yeah, he was definitely... No, I bet that was the leader. So, oh, soldier, okay. I'm surprised the soldier hasn't panicked. Huh. But yeah, we'll, we'll get you over here. I hope no one comes out of there. It was a bit silly of me to go for the stun. But, um, you know, I'm not too bothered. Uh, because I think we're doing alright. That is the plan, at least. Uh, cool, Spider-Man. Oh, hello. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, that's why I put you there. Okay, ooh. How much do you want to bet? Okay, this is the first turn. No one has come through this door. One, two, three, four. <laughs> You'd love to see it. You know what, I'm just going to leave you there. Just because, why not? You're doing an amazing job, Joel. Okay. Right, that is pretty terrifying. Okay. Yeah, because at the moment we don't have enough time units to go all the way around. But yeah, there's definitely an armed alien in here, so we need to be careful. How careful? Not amazingly, but um, you know, not as if we were facing chrysalids, because then we would be like we would be in serious trouble if we were facing chrysalids. But um, I do think that we should send someone up here. Maybe next turn. Okay, that is a bit of a death mine, but um, let's just hide in here for now. A death mine, a death trap. Honestly, I don't know what's going on with myself. Oh, right. Okay, hello. Right. Ooh. Nice, very good. Look at that recovery. UFO navigation, alien food, alien surgery, alien alloys. And we killed 16 and got 19 corpses. You'd love to see it. Epic times, right, yeah. Damn, we lost Tyrus and Crash Manicute and Aloy. I mean, we can't protect them all, really. But yeah, I was thinking of going for this base here in order to get the Hyperwave Decoder. Oh, yes. Why is that important, you might ask? Simply because, well, do I want to go for that? Not really. I think it's probably just a supply ship for this mission. Yeah, why? Because, well... It needs to be it needs to be done like basically it tells you what sort of aliens are on the craft and that is just it's amazing you love to see it so yes yeah, yeah, drumstick one in two days agent carter shall rejoin us and you can have personal armor because you are very cool right that was amazing we got so many kills through that link i want to see how many joel got four kills in one mission holy moly you love to see it nice well done joel Spider-Man, Goliath, Advent Reject with the six kills. Very nice. Although he did nothing that time. Fair enough. Uh, Gus Fring is wounded, but at least you're alive, you know. Saul Goodman with the six kills. Nice. <coughs> Levi with four kills. Serious Sam Jr. with ten kills. What a beast. He needs personal armor right now. Amazing times. Jake, you know what? You can also take the personal armor because we've got some extra suits to give out. Agent Carter. Um questionable bravery but you know i can't question his kill record and smasher questionable kill record can't really question the stats except the melee accuracy you know which is could be better max Payne, very good you know agent 47 sonic Oof, amazing right the highest kills very nice so yeah i think we've got everyone organized by rank and this is going to be the squad except um okay link you don't need to come but um, Agent Carter will come when he's back on. And then, ladies and gentlemen, we shall go for the, you know what? 14 alien grenades as well, because why not? Mind probe is always good. Um, yeah, we can literally bring 14 hey, plasma rifles and 20 plasma clips, and then might as well just bring like uh, four of these, just in case, and eight of these. And then we can sell all of these and we can make so much money. I love it. Is there anything we really need to build? Maybe if we check our stores. Uh, you know what? I kind of fancy building... There's not really much else I need to build here at the moment. Why are you a captain? Are you serious? One kill. Captain... Uh, what? These guys are stealing all our promotions. That is why. Also, there's Crash Bandicoot 2 here. He's been reincarnated. I think I meant Crash Bandicoot 3, but oh well. Anyway, yeah, I'll leave those dudes to it, and these dudes also have a base. So, also have n no names, I don't think, is what I meant to say. Ooh. Yeah, but it's alright, we're probably not really going to use them, so there's no need to name them at the moment. Cool. Two days, okay? Then we're good. 
please no, nothing bad happened in that time. Right. <sighs> this is intense. Bam, 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 bam. You know what? Uh, okay, yeah, just kill it. I was going to shoot it over water, but, you know, not a big deal. Okay, here we go. Agent Carter, are you ready? No, he's not ready. Damn. We need one more day. Okay, here we go. He's probably ready by now. Yes, welcome back, finally. It has been a very, very long time. But yeah. Okay. Crew, check. Equipment, check. We don't, maybe I'll leave the laser rifles on just in case. Uh, this is all very good though. Very nice. And you know what, just very quickly, let's check the stores here. We have plasma rifles, but we only have six, okay. You know what, let's transfer across to each base. Eight plasma rifles and eight clips, okay. And... Yeah, that, that'll do. And then I'm also going to sell some stuff before we go on this mission. So we really don't need 47 plasma rifles. We only need 20 really. And I'll keep like most of the clips, maybe 60. That's 3 million right there. And we can also sell, these we can sell, but I want to research them first. I'm going to sell the corpses because we really don't need them. Floater corpses, nice, right. Very nice, okay, that's a tiny 4 million. We could even get some more if you really want, but I think that's good. Cool. Um, with that money, we're going to reinvest in three more soldiers, and okay, and also okay. Right. Let's do that. Then we're going to build facilities in new living quarters. When that's up and running, then I'll get some more engineers just to make some more money. Because right now we're making a very tidy profit of 1.3 million, but that can definitely be increased. Right, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to do a final check with the armor. You know what? Um, yeah, equipment, all good, all good. Uh, mine probe, let's get one more, why not? Oh, and my mission is also to capture a, um, I guess, to capture, okay, let's put about seven or eight on there, seven, I'd say, to capture a commander if we can with drumstick one. So let's do this. Right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's blast off. Alien base, oh my goodness. Ooh, alien base assault. Hopefully, this is floaters. If it's not, this could be a bit of a problem. And my headphones are getting tangled, tangled up. Right, here we go. Let's begin the assault. Uxan the third, thank you for your service. Right, I'm gonna give everyone, no, 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 no. This time, yeah, we have plasma. Also, these missions are sort of nighttime-ish. So, although they're not technically classed as nighttime missions, they are dark. So, you know, we really need to be on this, you know, you don't really need to carry that. Advent reject, welcome back. You don't need the human grenade because you have the alien grenade, which is a massive improvement actually. So yeah, that's always very nice. 29, yep, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, you can take this. And what I really need is everyone to carry stun, uh, stun rods and hopefully a stun launcher as well, if I can find someone to take it. Okay, you're definitely going to be our mind probe dude, if you want. Actually, 48. Oh, but it's all right. You know, we can deal with it. Uh, anything else? Maybe one of these. You know what? Yeah, don't need that. You need one of these. And two of those. Very nice. Cool. We're going to have Levi dual wielding, because why not? Serious Sam Jr., you take that in the backpack if you need it. And smoke grenade, yeah. Jake. Cool, the thing is, I really want someone to be our specific mind probe dude. And I think that's going to be Adam Smasher, because why not? Also, I should have brought a plasma pistol for you, but you can take this, there we go. Just in case you need it. Uh, yeah. Cool. Very nice. I think that is a squad. Squad ready? Uh, not quite, actually. There we are, Max Payne, Agent 47, Sonic. Boom. Right, we'll also give, we'll also give you an upgrade. 
and if we need it, you know, you've got an extra one in there. Just because the commander needs the kills. Oh yeah. Right. Levi. Good luck. You know, I don't really... If this is chrysalids, then... You know, I, that's why I don't want to skip the turn straight away. So we kind of need to do what we need to do. Yes! I knew it! Okay, it is floaters. And that is what you like to see. If I had a blaster bomb, I would instantly just... Go down there. You know, sort them out, but... Unfortunately, we don't have that technology yet, but... After this episode, we might manage to secure ourselves a blaster bomb. That is the plan, at least. Okay, as you can see, it's very dark. Too dark. I don't like it. This is a bit, uh, you know, a bit worrying. Because we can't see. And the aliens, actually, if you don't know, they have an increased vision in the night time. Uh, so sort of like the opposite uh, to humans. So they can see further in the night and we can see more in the day. Which is just... That's just unfair, really. But um, that does mean that we can just go up here and because reapers are four by four they can't reach us unless they sort of eat levi and i don't think they can eat levi unless they are on the same level so my theory is that we can just chill here and life should be good that is technically my 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 theory i hope it's correct okay this could go wrong but you know what i'm gonna mind problem because why not we can Photo soldier. 80 bravery! Holy moly! These dudes are OP! I thought floaters would be like the worst. That's, I mean, that's probably what you get when you play on this difficulty, but 62 firing accuracy. That's like a commander for us, basically. Oh, holy moly. Right. Oh, God! How do we see that? Nice, got the Reaper. That's what I was worried about. Nice. Who killed him? Levi? Serious Sam Jr. Okay. I don't really like the friendly fire thing, but uh, you know what? Well, no one no one died, so we could. Also, this was a bit silly. You have to block the elevator. That was my bad. A Reaper could have just come up and just been like, hey. <laughs> uh oh. I don't like this. It's too quiet. Man, oh man, right, okay. So we spawn in two pods. Okay, that floater's doing his thing. That is nice. Okay, you see someone? It's a Reaper, okay. These things are kind of cool. Um, they're like early game enemies, so they're pretty easy to fight. Yeah, they, they die instantly. But against rifles, they're tough. But, um, yeah. Luckily, we don't have rifles anymore, so that is nice. I really need to take the hash off of these dudes, because I feel bad. My top dudes literally have, you know, signs that say, not good enough on them. <laughs> oh, damn. Adam Smasher. I should have, tell you what, next Reaper we get, I will um, do a little mind probe thing. And we'll see their stats. Advent Reject. Come down. Okay, so far so good, but um, yeah, we haven't really done too much. We could go for the, yeah, the thing is right, I know where the command is. No! Oh, damn you! Ah! Oh. No, Ogzan, he was such a promising soldier! Damn! So we know someone's in there. Damn. Oh yeah, by the way, we're going to take a lot of losses on this mission, I can tell you already. Agent 47. So we're bringing out the big guns now. Hopefully, you know, we can do some cool stuff. Okay. Right. Don't know who that was firing at. Oh my god. The audacity. How dare you. Dude. Are you serious, man? He wants the smoke. Who's going for Joel? You know what, yeah. Let's sort him out. Yes! Good night. Stupid floater. Die. Oh, hello, there you are. This is probably the one that killed Oxan. 
Oh my lord, dude. Are you serious? Okay, you know what? Man. Here we go. This is what we need. This is not really the time to be missing. Yes! I mean, luckily with this thing, with these weapons, all you need to do is hit once, and they're dead. No line of fire? But you hit it anyway, thank you. What a legend. Oh, I, f I forgot to scan it. Oops. They, they died too quickly. Ah, those fools. Okay, the Reapers. You know, here is probably... This is not... The thing is, right, these areas are not really safe. Oh. Okay, he sees someone. Agent 47. Do your thing. No line of fire. The ground? How? Okay. Oh, hello. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> nice. Right. That floater probably can't get us from here, but I am going to mine probe it just in case. Adam Smasher. Just a stand. That's just probably the same standard floater soldier. That's not too bad. You know what we could do? Who's going down next? Max Payne, Sonic, Sirius Sam Jr. You gotta come down, come down and join us here. Whew, here we go. Now this is intense. There was a random shot, but I didn't know where it was, but I think it was that dude. I don't know who he was shooting at. That is the only thing, really. Goliath! Hello! Right. Okay. Nothing's around there. Nothing's around there. I'm just gonna chill there. Damn! No! I'm losing soldiers! Oh my god! Holy moly! Right. Let me get this straight. Someone fired from around here? There you are, you fool. Got him. Whew. And, and someone fired at someone else. So I need to check if everyone's got... Okay, no one's wounded, which is nice. Someone fired at one of my top dude, top dudes, Saul Goodman. Where? No, that's not the one. Uh, so Adam Smasher, you know? Ah, oh man. Sonic. Okay, this is risky business. This. Right. <laughs> Now that we've done that, now Saw can check out this area and find the dude who's shot. I bet you he's up here. This is the most weird contraption. Like, who has that in their base? Why? <laughs> oh, okay, Serious Sam Jr. This is a definition of risky business. There you are. Right. Oh, you know what? Ah, oh, we could go around here. <gasps> Ooh, okay, that is not good. Um, luckily, he's only got a stun launcher. Can you get around here? I should probably do the map. Okay, yeah, you can. Easy. Nice. Agent 47. What a legend. Boom. And next turn, we can get that thing. But, uh, yeah. I don't really want to mess with it now. Holy moly! They have skeletons and organs and oh, these floaters. What? Also, what is this? Some sort of purple plant. I don't like it. Man, oh man, oh man. Right, Jake, Agent, Agent Carter. The legend himself. The man wounded for about half this uh, entire series. That was not smart. Um, yeah. Oops. I really was not very smart. But yeah. <laughs> Goliath, no! Man. Damn it. I told you there would be losses. Um 
Yeah. Not, not much else I could say about that. Hopefully we have enough people to do it. The thing is, right, when you have a craft upgrade, you can bring more soldiers out. So it's definitely, you know, worth it. And these floaters are definitely no joke. You know, I mean, we've already mind probed that dude. He's a soldier. Um, cool. Yeah, I mean, when you play this game, there are going to be losses. Um, am I playing it perfectly? No, but I still think we can do this mission. You know, our morale is... It's it's all right, but that can drop quickly. So yeah, I don't don't like this one bit. Actually, I really don't like that. I really really don't like that. Oops! Just don't turn around. Nice. Oh, what a legend! Holy moly! Advent reject you legend. Sort him out. Here we go. I don't like that. Like, they've definitely designed these to be death traps. And the thing is, right, with this game, it's not too bad. With Terror from the Deep, you know, it's a whole different story. There is... Everything in that game is a death trap, literally. Okay, this is perfect. Here we go. No line of fire. I think not. Who do you see? That dude, somehow, you see that dude, okay. Nice. Lovely stuff. Agent 47 at the wheel. Here we go. Ooh, okay. Also, yeah. So like I was saying, this game is designed to be sort of death trappy, or this particular level at least. Just because there's, there's no way you're not going to do this without taking losses, or at least, you know, having some sort of damage being taken. And we know there's someone's through there. So I'm not too happy about that. Agent Carter. What do we do here? I don't know. Um, but yeah, yeah, the entire Terror from the Deep is designed sort of like this level. A little bit easier in some sections and a little bit harder in others. And that game is just so brutally unfair. It's just uh, you know a bit, bit annoying, really. Did you take a shot at my commander? You did, you naughty boy. Someone is in there. Man, oh man, right. I don't think we're gonna stand for that. No, no sir. Definitely not. Oh, this is the central command area. Which means Levi is the right person because he's got the stun gun. So, this, this massive circle here, you can sort of recognize it because it's like a, you know, it's got these curves here. Um, I don't know how else to say it. Uh, you, it'll be more identifiable when you're around the side because it's like a, I guess, a, um, you know, there's three doors and stuff, but there is somewhere else that I think has sort of similar look to it at least. This is not okay, this. I don't like this one bit because we're not safe through this way. 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 All this way. So that's you know, um, realistically one, two, three. Okay, well it's one, two, three, four, five ways we could be flanked from. I don't know about that. Yeah. Next turn, Saul Goodman. Yeah, I don't know how you're still alive, Sonic. That was very lucky. Whew. Uh, yeah, we don't really need to do too much else. Could could I do anything through here? Maybe. But then again, it depends because, you know, I don't want to get... If Levi dies, then we're in a bit of trouble. No! No! Damn, that's going to hit the morale quite bad. Oh no! Who was that? Is that Sirius Sam Jr.? No! Uh oh. Who was it? Okay, we. Uh, Sonic, um, Agent 47, Max Payne, Adam Smasher. Who 
Who was it? Oh, wait, was it mine, Proby dude? No, Adam Smash is still here. Okay. I think it was a sergeant, luckily. So, you know, morale's not been tanked. But... Yeah, that, that, that's just not good. That's just not okay, though. Um, oh, man, I left him out in the open like that. But then again, I thought that was the safest ish location because this area is not safe now we know this area is not safe either oh man all right oh okay luckily he didn't move into a dangerous area at least right i know you're up here okay um huh i know there's a dude up there 100 million percent. No, I'm not even risking that because I know he's up there. Surprisingly, this area is quite safe. Never mind. Okay, well, you know what? We can deal with this. In the butt. Okay. Uh oh. Um, that is where they do get dangerous. Um, I don't like this. No, that's that's not even smart. Let's go there. Go there. Oh no. Okay. My finger clicking. <laughs> damn you. Ah, damn you finger clicking skills. Too skillful. Click too much. Maybe. Um, right. At the end of the day. Yeah, I am. I give myself about a 50% chance of surviving, simply because, oh no, maybe not, probably a 0%, but if he knows where to go, oh, tell you what, we can do, we can mind probe him though, I'm Smasher, it's literally what you're used for at the moment, Reaper Terrorist, okay, they have, a de they're like big chrysalids that are a lot weaker and they don't, you know, put eggs in you, but um, yeah, they're pretty scary. They have an insane amount of health. I guess that's 150, but it could even go off the off the scale, really. So you never know. Um, yeah. Is there anything else or any? Yeah. Uh, Agent 47. Cool. You can't really do too much. Oh, oh! I was supposed to put you up here, just in case. Damn it! That was not very smart. Okay, Sonic. Joel, Advent Reject. Our number's dwindling. Oh my god! No! Okay, right. Did you... Okay, you were trying to save him, but you didn't. Right. Okay. Max Payne? It's your time to shine, boy. Nice, there we go. Whew. Right, because you need to go around here. Spot that dude. Oh, okay, he's gone. Right, okay, serious Sam. That was risky business, but, um, you know, at least no one died. Well, actually, someone did die around here. Yeah, I feel like that's just such a bad spawn location. Someone is literally around there, and the only two dudes were left from that drop. It's Agent Carter, and... So we know someone's around here. So, Joel... You're gonna do what you gotta do. Come on. Come on, Joel. Oh my lord. Please don't be useless. Uh, man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. This is not okay. Like this, this spot here. But like, man, sorry, my hay fever today. Oh, yeah, it's just a. Uh... Holy moly! Right, that is a death trap central. Just check, like, because the aliens could be hiding around there. You never know. And smash right. Yes, I thought so. 
I knew it. Oof. See that? Okay, I know I make a lot of stupid mistakes, but you you got to give me credit where credit is due. That was not too bad. Um, yeah. Like, I'm, I could have very easily just run up there with Saw or run out there with Sonic, and that would have lost us a commander. If I do that more, we might have a fighting chance. Emphasis on might. <laughs> okay, you know what? Boop. You can still, you can't even reaction fire, so I'm gonna put you back here. I'm worried about that Reaper. A little bit. It's definitely one over here. Fortunately, we didn't actually lose anyone that turn. But there is someone over here. Agent Carter, can you get the first kill back? <laughs> He can! He's finally returned! Oh my goodness, after a long spell off with being wounded, he's finally back. And amongst the kills, I think that is his 10th kill. You know, which is not quite record, but, uh, you know, I think Sonic's up here with the most. You know, this is asking to die. Also, these things are a key sign that this is the main central hub. And... Yeah, basically the central hub, you'll see it, but we have to go around here, enter through this way, then go all the way back around here, and then go in. And then there's two floors, so there's another one up there. But yeah, I wouldn't worry too much about that. Not yet, at least, because, you know, we've got a long way to go. But Agent 47, you've done enough searching up there, thank you. It's time for you to come down. And you're going to also be joined by Sonic. The thing is, right... We really need to assault this head base head on. Uh, just because that is sort of what we need to do, I guess. I don't know, Saul can do his thing around here. I, I don't see why not. Uh, you know what, let's be safe. You can go here. And... Agent Carter, okay, that's fine. There's definitely still someone out there. He's probably around here. So I don't know what he's going to be doing. That floater is worrying me a little bit. Actually, a little bit more than a little bit. <laughs> it's worrying me a lot. Uh, but I'm going to get Max Payne over here. You know, let's just hide there. And we'll see what we can do. Because this is going to be our spearhead of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 soldiers here. Going into that base, which is not really enough. I will be honest. So hopefully, you know, they can soon be joined by Joel and Agent Carter once this flipping alien has been destroyed. And then Saul can explore the rest of the base. Okay, stop that, please. That is just not needed. Okay. Also, we have Adam Smasher. That would be very helpful if I used him a bit more. Floater Soldier, cool. Nice, had barely any time units, which is the important thing. Okay, by the way, this area is not safe, so... Adam, please don't die. You're quite a nice soldier. I like you. Right, Joel, finish this dude. He's got no time units. Yes! Nice. Good night. Okay. That, that one floater has just gone walkabout, just, you know, not the one. I don't like it. I mean, this is asking to die. Oh, hello. Oh, my God. Yeah. That is the soldier who killed all, basically, all my dudes. So, damn you. Ah, man. The fool! Right. Yeah, this is... This is rough. Especially with the, the sort of weapons that these dudes have. But he dead. Oh, yeah. Right, because basically, floaters, if you don't know... Well, any, any commander, which is where these commanders reside, is in here. They have a special weapon called a blaster bomb. And this is just... This blaster bomb, it's like a homing missile, basically. 
but you can tell where it want, you can tell it where to go basically. And I just think that is the most OP weapon of all time. It really, really is. So if you if you feel like dying, you know, then this is definitely the way to do it. Also, we can't fire both. So I'm gonna go with the auto shot here. Okay, four, eight, twelve. 16. Whoop. Okay. Right. This is not okay, but we're doing our thing, and that is what's important. Right. Uh, this is risky business. I really... I, I hope that we're strong enough to do this. I really do, because we only have nine units left. Realistically, we could lose two here. Please don't lose anyone. No! Oh my god. Sam. Took it like a boss. Okay. Max Payne, you've got to do this. For everyone. Seriously, dude. Okay. Serious Sam Jr. Do what Max Payne could not. Yes, that is exactly how we do things. Right. Electra flare time. Agent 47. He's definitely got one. Let's go. Oh my goodness. <gasps> how the... What? How? Okay, I don't know how that happened, but it did. He's got no time units, though. Oh, that was silly of me. Oh! He's got it. He's got the blaster bomb. That was silly of me because we had to get the alien up there. Oh, damn. Good spot, though. Thank you. Very good. Um, yeah. In short, blaster bombs are not good. Uh, so there was one... Dude, here? There was one dude here, right? And there was one dude here. Can't do much about that dude at the moment because I made a mistake, but we can do stuff about this one. This soldier is the most elusive dude I've ever seen. He's taken two units just to track him down. Oh, blimey O'Reilly. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know what? We really don't have enough resources to spread across these things. So I'm going to put more faith in my soldiers. I put the faith in Saul Goodman that he can take out that floater. And Agent Carter is going to just come this way. Because we really need some more support down here. <sighs> blimey. Blimey, blimey, blimey. Okay, Sonic, let's go, you gotta do this. Okay, we're gonna probably send you around this way, maybe, if I don't wanna die. Um, that's probably, how did you get there, by the way? How? I have no clue, because we know for a fact you weren't up there. Unless you came from around here, but then, you would have killed Saul. I don't want to know. <laughs> oh god. Right. A silent turn. For us, but it definitely wasn't an inactive turn. Oh my god, this is the most dangerous... ...thing. <sighs> Lord. Please, let Saul Goodman live. Oh, man. Yeah. Holy moly. I... Oh, this is risky business. It really is. Uh, okay, last check. Right, Carter's... You know. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Go around this way, thank you. Cool. The man, the myth, the legend, the Agent Carter. Max Payne. 
This, the thing is, oh! How many time uses does he have? We need to know. This mine probe can be the most OP th Exactly. Exactly. You know what? It's a navigator. Let's do it. You want some? You want some? I give it, yeah? Oh, oh, what do you mean? You can't throw it in. There's a window right there. Oh, Lord. Right. Okay. Big problem with that. Because if he notices that we're here, they can send a blaster bomb through that window. And kablamo, we all die instantly. Um, and I'm not even making that up. Okay, there was an alien dude around here. This is not good because, you know, I mean, there are, there's a dead floater there, right? Okay, yeah. Ah, oh, man. You know, I, I don't like that. I don't even want to progress. It is risky. Yeah, I guess the best thing to do is probably throw it there. But you're out of time years now, so... Okay, engineer's gone berserk. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, there he is, okay. Before we do that, we need to know what, what unit he is. I think it's probably the navigator. Yes, okay. Okay. Oh, what do you mean? Oh my god. Okay, just, just shoot him, please. No line of fire! Okay, now. Oh yeah! Let's go. Nice, okay. I don't I don't like it when you face the wall, but I will allow it this one time. Also, we can't actually see to the end of the corridor, which is really... Did you... Did you just throw it there? Are you serious? I don't think I can excuse that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Right. Somehow we've got to be searching for this dude as well. I've got a feeling if it's Saul versus one floater dude, we're not going to come out on top. We're really not. And if we lose, then, you know, that floater is just wandering around. Man, oh man. That's why it's so risky. And we know for a fact there is an alien somewhere in here. Oh. Okay, Reaper, that's not too bad. We can kill that one. Nice. I've seen it where these aliens just do not give a give a a, a crap, basically. And they shoot through the door through their own ranks just to kill us and fire a blaster bomb. So it is risky. It really, really is. But yeah, you know what, Levi? Oh, but you're too important. You got the stun gun. Well, this floater is throwing off my game plan, this, uh, you know, this one dude over here. I don't know where he could be going, but I don't like it. Don't like it at all. Nice. Navigator's panicked. Cool. Engineer's panicked. Nice. Leader's panicked. Nice. But no commander. Right. In a pickle? Oh! Okay, hold on. He's got no weapon. And we don't have enough time units. Um. Oh, sorry. Uh. I, I hate to do this, but. It's not cheating. We have to do what we've got to do. Okay, he's panicked. Please kill him. Very good, Max Payne. Very good. Um, right. But that means we've got to sort of rush this because, you know, if they... 
yeah, if they come out of there and they see Max Payne, then, you know, he could be done for. Uh, right, you're seriously super duper important just because you've got the stun gun. So we're going over there and I'm placing my faith fully in Saw to deal with this alien and find him, which is not a smart thing to do. No offense, Saw, you're a good soldier. I like you, but you're not... Um, no one in this... No one by themselves is good enough to take an a on an alien one-on-one -on -one where you don't know where he is. Um, that's just simple. Because they can just reaction fire. And that's it. You're done. Yeah. So, I mean, let's let's get going. I don't want to go too much. But yeah, you know what? I'm going to send Sirius Sam around here. And you're going to deal with that. And then Sonic, you're also going to come this way. Uh, so we've got one, two going this way, three going that way, and one, two, three going this way. There we go. Nice. Okay, losses potentially expected. Um, but yeah, I don't know what else to do. Really. I actually think in here is probably the safest. Maybe. Oh my god! Okay. I did not expect him to do that. Uh, dude. I think this is a navigator. Yeah, he's just wounded himself. Cool. These dudes are insane. Okay, Asian Carter. Back on. Here we go. Yeah, he, he had a weapon, but he threw his grenade. Oh, that is interesting, to say in the least. But yeah, we're going round. If Saul Goodman survives this uh, mission, then I will be... I will be extremely surprised, I'm just being honest. Okay, no one's through there, so we're good. Sorry, I know that might have seemed a bit strange why I moved there, Agent 47 there, and then back. But what I wanted to do was have a look through and see if there's anything through here. But we can't see anything yet. So, fair enough. Yeah, not much we can do about that. Adam Smasher. Ha ha. And Sirius Sam Jr. Epic times, right. The faith of humanity, or the hope of humanity, rests on one man. Saul Goodman. Oh, there he is! Oh my god, please kill him. Yes! Oh, what a clutch play. I do not believe that. I misclicked and now you can't go back in your hiding spot. Oops. But I think... Overall... Very good. Eight units left, okay. <sighs> Levi's gone down recently, but... It had to be done. Right. That is probably this door here opening. I've just got a feeling. Stun launches out. Stun rods out. Because we're going for this. We're going for the capture of the commander. Just so we can, you know, sort of accelerate the, the research and stuff like that. Right. Carter's going around here. If we find a Reaper, that is a bit of a problem. You know what? Just go, just go there. Just go, 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 go. Oh, okay. That's nice. And then this side. Go Max Payne. Okay. I'm definitely not risking that. Also, we should probably check that this area is safe. Oh! Excuse me. A blaster bomb is just on the ground. Um, yeah, that is not good. A blaster bomb is... They scare me. They really do. But you know what? Saw, come this way. Come hither. If you survive this mission, you know, you will have been one of humanity's finest. I was worried I was going to say that and then he just dies. <laughs> that would not be fun. Oh, hello. What could you be? Could 
you be a engineer? Okay, right, we don't need you. Die, please. Nice. Wait, what? That was it? What? Sorry? Excuse me? They just died like that? I'm... We didn't even get into the main control center. Uh, okay, I don't know what we did to the commanders, but they, uh... Something. We didn't even see a commander. What? Joel! No! Nine kills. Man, oh man. Ah. Yeah, sorry, I'm still trying to think about that. Like, what on earth just happened? Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, because I really thought that, that there would definitely be commanders and stuff in there. There probably should have been. Um, but yeah, more importantly, we can actually research something to get the hyperwave decoder, which is the real reason I did that. That's annoying, but, um... Actually, yeah, that's pretty annoying. That was a really big wasted opportunity. I must have accidentally killed the commander randomly and not even realized. Unless that base just didn't have one? I don't know. That is really, really strange. Now I have to think, what do I search to get the hyperwave decoder? What do I research? UFO navigation, maybe? I always thought it was something that you could only unlock once you found the base. So that's what I'm gonna do. Nice, cool, that's perfect, we don't need that. Now I'm just gonna try and rush the research to try and get that hyperwave decoder in motion. Because if you don't know, the hyperwave decoder sort of tells you what is at your base and like what uh, what sort of stuff you need. Cool, scientists, lovely stuff. Right, I did not mean that. Um, but damn, we lost Joel. Oh, what a soldier, holy moly. Ah, Sonic with a 13 kills though. Agent 47 with 13 kills. The improvement on these soldiers is crazy as well. I love it. And Max Payne with 14 kills. Holy moly. He killed so many people on that mission. Did anyone kill a commander? Because they should have really... They should have had a commander on that mission. I don't even know. But yeah. Okay, that was the most random thing of all time. I will rename those soldiers at some point, but right now I really want to just try and find this research and get it done. I can also do that, which is good. I used to have 150 scientists, so I'm thinking that's probably the best option at the moment to go and do something like that. Interceptor 1 and Interceptor 3. Inter oh, okay. Yeah, we're not going to catch that. UFO 50 has been detected. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Right, that unfortunately means that we have to find another base or get, let our base get invaded, which I really don't want to do. Um... Oh God! Is that coming from our base? Oh Lord! No, it's not. Holy moly, I was very worried there. I don't know what it's trying to do. Because you've already taken over the USA. Now it's scouting. Is it going for Mexico? I don't know what it's doing. I don't want to mess with it. I think that's trying to set up a base. I might actually let it, because... Um, yeah, it's definitely looking for something. Because we do need another commander, and the only way to get a commander is through a base, and I don't want to go in there. What is that thing doing? I guess it's just scouting. I mean, I'll let it scout, why not? 
large, high, no thank you, die. Please. The thing is, right, I've kind of given up hope that it's going to be sectoids. So now I'm kind of hoping for this thing called Ethereals. Um, but yeah, the Hyperwave Decoder is really useful because it tells you what unit you're facing. Which is just amazingly useful. Um, but yeah, come on research, come on, you can do it. It's just a plasma pistol. Then I think I really want to go for... It's got to be UFO navigation or UFO power source or something like that. I think. Because we recovered a, a heck of a lot of stuff there. I think we even recovered some more uh, Illyrium as well. Which I really hope is the case. Illyrium, Illyrium, Illyrium? Illyrium. Oh, we didn't! What do you mean? That was the most flipping weird base I've ever been to. Man. So we did all that work to not even get the research that we required or a commander. So it was basically useless. <sighs> Damn. Or well, at least we had a good, uh, good time. <laughs> anyway, folks, I think that's going to be it for now. I might go and do that mission, who knows? We don't have that many soldiers, so I might rename them, and I'll be back. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I've actually got myself on, because why not? <laughs> no, I don't want to go first, let, let Lazarevich and uh, Rafe go first, yeah. As you can see, we've got some more uh, enchanted sort of things, and I hope I haven't used these dudes before, uh, but yeah, we've, we've used quite a few, so I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, oh, and the living quarters is done. So, not enough living. We literally just completed. Oh, it's a lab. Never mind. Oops. Eleven days. Oh, I'm being dumb. Right. Yeah, you know what? Time to build ourselves another lab. We're going for 150 scientists, okay? And next time, ladies and gentlemen, we shall see what this craft is. But for now, let's land there and see what we can do. Okay, well, right, after that epic fail of a base... Oh! Okay. This is good, but very bad. Because I don't really like cyber discs. <laughs> As you guys know, but... That does mean that there is a sectoid leader on this mission. So we can hopefully get mind control powers. Because that would be very nice. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.